Dr. Dre. We talked about him a little bit before. Yeah. We've been talking about artists giving away their masters. Dr. Dre is to sell a portion of his masters. This is going to uh, include the entire album of The Chronic, which is his classic album, and various Kendrick Lamar productions yeah. for over $200 million. Hey, once again, uh, we're, we're starting to just see more and more people um, sell their masters, man. It says here. I know uh, why now. Not one, but two music deals worth well over two hundred million, like you mentioned. According to Billboard, Dr. Dre is working on deals with both Shamrock Holdings and Universal Music Group. The potential deal with UMG will require Dre to sell the matches, like you said, for the first solo album, The Chronic, plus the shares with uh, Kendrick Lamar. Man, so you said you know why? What what's the reason? I can't speak to white artists or people outside of the hip hop community. Rap is on the decline. Mm. you've seen we have seen rap peak i want y'all to know somewhere between 2018 and 2021 rap hit its peak rap is on the decline numbers wise and the artists are starting to see that they're speaking to their financial advisors about that shit and even though they're gonna have music that'll be classics within the hip-hop culture forever the money that that sits in their music the the making the maximum on that they only have a few more years to make max on that okay. so they're selling while they can make max on their masters in five to ten years maybe Lil Wayne's catalog that was worth 100 to 200 million maybe it ain't worth all that in 10 years because there's a whole new genre that's killing shit we ain't even thinking about that shit no more it's just crazy to to think about that I mean I'm not disagreeing with you I, I see the picture but um I just think about like classic, classic music, right? You it know only, what I'm saying? You that, think it, it sounds like it only gets more valuable over time. Right. That's what you would think, especially, you know, for the artists that we're talking about. You're talking about Lil Wayne and his entire catalog. You're talking about Dr. Dre and his The Chronic. You know, you would think like over the years, it would appreciate more. Well, think about it like this. The people that appreciate that shit are going to die. Dying off. Maybe. And, okay. and a kid that was born in 2012, that makes sense. how much is he going to pay for an Elvis Presley album? No. Nah. That makes sense. Or like that does make sense. So their their masters become less and less valuable over time. They're probably gonna right. get it while the getting's good. No, nah, that does make sense because even with the um, you know the digital platforms that we have now, the streaming, it's not it's not worth as much. Yep. People, uh, even though songs will come out, you know, in the sixties, seventies, eighties, people were still buying the CDs or the vinyl of the song yes. in the nineties and the two thousands. But now. You don't really have that anymore. So that does make sense, bro. And now that I'm saying that, bring the white artists and all the other genres back in. That makes sense why all of these artists, like you see uh, Bob Dylan or Justin Timberlake, Justin Timberlake, Justin Bieber, start to sell those off. Right. Because how much time do I have to make 200 or 300 or 100 million on my masters? You don't. It's, making, it's starting to make more sense. I'm glad you broke it down that way. I'm there, starting to see like a different picture now. And it's not like we're seeing... Drake just get up and sell his masters right now. We're seeing some of the older legacy acts right. sell that off because they're starting to see where the trajectory of their numbers in the music is going. Gotcha. That makes sense, bro. God, we are the best. God <laughs> damn it, we do this shit, man. I just, oh, I just, yeah, just this rap is just flowing through my veins, nigga. Yeah, I can't help it, bro. Oh. Eat, breathe. I said eat, breathe. Eat, breathe, and sleep this shit, I man. shit rap, nigga. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gosh. That's sick, first off. Shitting rap? Yeah. Yeah, that is sick. Yeah, that's nasty. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said I shit rap. <laughs> I don't shit rap. I, I eat, sleep, and breathe rap. I don't shit rap. Damn, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I just wake up in the morning. I piss excellence. You know what I mean? But I don't shit rap. You're right. Yeah, you're different. It's all good, bro. 